Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome on the Culture News. My name is David Ferriero, and I have the pleasure, the honor, to have Mr. Travis Van Hoff on the phone, who is the lead vocals, the keyboards player, and the guitar player of a fantastic band, ladies and gentlemen, called Van Lady Love. How are you, Travis, today? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for having me. No, it's really an honor. Listen, Travis, I need to tell you something very important. I listen to your music. Your music is genius, okay? It is innovative. It is creative. It is entertaining. It is fun. There is a beautiful story behind each song. It is well produced. The voice is first class. The arrangements are wonderful. I mean, congratulations. Congratulations for that wonderful EP that you just released called Alive. So, a uh, few questions for you, uh, my dear Travis. So, I wanted to know, how did you guys meet? How did you um, have the idea to start this band? What brought you guys together? That's a good question. So, probably about four years ago, um, we were all doing our own separate uh, projects at the time. And I had this idea to just start you know, recording videos and putting them on YouTube and just seeing what would happen. And the videos would, did really well. And we got asked to, uh, to open up for some larger bands in the area, like um, Parachute um, and, and whatnot. And so we, we kind of were like, okay, well, we did these YouTube videos, but can we actually play live? So we had, mm-hmm. to, we had to put a band together in order to, to play these shows. Mm-hmm. Um, so the first time that I met uh, Jordan Clark and Steel Cell Duty was our, our first rehearsal. Um, wow. We, we met, yeah, we met through just mutual friends, uh, you know, we just in the, in the music scene back in Utah. And so we just, we didn't even know each other until we rehearsed for the first time. Mm-hmm. And after, the, after that rehearsal, it was so easy it was so magical that it just we knew that we had to keep going wow well let me tell you i watched some of uh, you were talking about the band about live and youtube i watched some of your videos on youtube and the energy that you guys have on stage is absolutely phenomenal how are you moving on the stage you're jumping on the stage you're not even moving you're floating on the stage you know? <laughs> and, and your interactivity with the audience is very, very strong. You guys are quite uh, uh, performers. So um, yeah. I wanted to ask you, I love uh, how you guys did this mix of electro rock music, which is pretty unique, right? Because very, uh, we have some electro music, which we know it's a DJ that is on stage. We have some rock music. It's a rock band. But for the first time, we have kind of a mix of both on the stage. They have uh, a real instrument on stage, so that feels really good. I wanted to ask you, how did that uh, mix of electro and rock music came together? Um, you know, our, our background is more of the uh, the rock and roll, like Led Zeppelin or, uh-huh. or Boston or the Beatles, um, and and so we kind of started from there. But we realized that, I mean, if we wanted to be relevant and be heard in this world, we needed to dive into uh, the synth, um, yeah. and, and, you know, kind of diving into the electro part of it. And I, I grew up playing the piano. And so playing a synth is, I guess, similar in, in the fact that, the, you know, you got your keys there, but it's different. And just, there's a million different knobs that you can be turning. And, yeah, and so no, we, definitely. Yeah. So we started off with just buying one synth keyboard and started adding that into the, uh, the, the production and the live performance. And it grew from there. We started buying more keyboards, more synths, um, and it just it, it, it kind of morphed into this electro rock, uh, you know, genre that you you know you were talking about. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So now we're gonna hear uh, the song of Mars, which I really, really love. Uh, I love the way it starts very gently, <laughs> and then all of a sudden the the bomb is dropped. <laughs> And you yeah. have this massive, you know, this massive, uh, um, uh, this massive sound, this massive production and, and energy. So let's hear a little bit of it right now. Uh-huh. 
Alright, so that was Mark as, uh, uh, from the wonderful band Van Lady Love. And we have uh, our wonderful sister Travis Van Hoff that is on the phone with us. Uh, thank you again, Travis, for taking some time with us today because uh, I know that today is a big day for you because you're playing at the Rockwood Music Hall on the stage too. So uh, this is so kind of you to take you know, a little bit of your busy time of the concert to to have an interview uh, with us, so we're very, very blessed uh, uh, to, to have you. Uh, how long would be your set uh, tonight? Uh, tonight, we'll be playing for about 45 to 50 minutes. Wow. Well, let yeah, me tell you, you're going to hear somebody screaming in the audience, it will be me. Okay. <laughs> I hope so, I hope <laughs> you so. Know? Uh, yeah, so <laughs> you, you, you're going to see me, and, and it's too bad that my mother is not... Uh, uh, in the U.S., otherwise she would have been on the stage with you and 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 falling in love with the with the three of you because um, on the radio you cannot see the faces, but you have to check these guys out. You know they are really really not only uh, they they have a modern way, but also they are they have they have deep roots in in the very um, in the beautiful music. So uh, two, two two more last question, if you don't mind. What are your plans for the for the future once you finish? This wonderful tour, uh, which is taking you to, uh, which took you already to LA to 
uh, Salt Lake City tonight in New York, and then on the 26th in Nashville at the Basement East. What are your plans after for the next year? Um, so I would say come fall, we're going to go on a full U.S. tour, um, wow. heading down through Arizona and Texas, over to Florida, up through the East Coast to Boston, back you know through Chicago and Denver, and um, and just kind of just hit the ground running, just uh, play for as many people as we can, because I think that we realize that you know when we play live, that's when people get it. That's when they they understand it even more, yeah. and they and they fall in yeah. love you know with the music even more, and so we want to be able to get in front of as many people as we can. Um, after the tour, I think that we uh, start looking um, into kind of finishing the record. We have five songs on this EP alive, wow. and it would be nice to have a full record. Um, and I think that that's kind of going to be in the, you know, the, the winter and the, in the spring of next year we'll be looking at finishing the full record. Well, let, let, let me tell you, I don't know one person who will listen to your music who will not go to his Chase account and take all his savings to bring it to you to produce the rest of the album. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is really, really wonderful. The songs Grenade, Mars, Moves Me, Alive, Neverland, uh, it is really, really uh, uh, beautiful. And, and, uh, and I'm pretty sure that very, very soon you're going to get some filmmakers who are going to ask you to do some soundtrack because uh, your music, you know, can tell uh, uh, beautiful uh, stories and you guys are going to have great music video and not only you are going to be on the all radios, which are, you, you, you already started to be on many, many radios, but also to combine uh, between having a strong presence on radio, but also in nightclub and, and, and also on stage. Um, so this is kind of a holy triangle that many bands always dream to um, to reach, but you guys um, really uh, achieved it. So I want to tell you, Travis, from the bottom of my heart, congratulations for this fantastic music, for your talent, for this great tour, and for all your success, because on the Internet I've read nothing but compliments on your music and our fans, because now the fans can write what they think. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We- you can, you know, everybody loves you, everybody loves your music, and it was an honor having you on the Culture News. Thank you so much for taking out of your busy time, and all the best for tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's an honor. Thank you so much. Take care.